this is my favorite time uh, early morning no one's here um, it's very quiet and just to sort of walk around and look at the flowers take it all in and get some more inspiration and ideas for the painting that I'm working on different flowers from out there to paint into the painting. Now this time early in the morning I really like to sort of walk around and have a look because during the day the event can get really 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 busy. So here what I'm looking at doing is trying to keep the color scheme very similar to what it is, not paint too many different colored flowers all over the top of each other because I think when you stand right back it'll be too overwhelming so I'm trying to actually pick flowers that will match these different colors so for the yellow section I could use something similar to this but it looks a little bit cliche or I could go something like this this looks cool but I don't think the black would work because if I paint the black in, it will be too scattered. This one is nice. I should probably learn the names of all of these. This one is cool because it's got a bit of texture on the top. And so with like this flower, for mm -hmm. example, like is that something cut? Like I've never seen anything like yes, that so before. Yes, so it's a, it's a cut flower. It is of the tulip variety. Oh, it's okay. um, a double parrot feather tulip. Double, so it's double parrot a, feather tulip. Yes, <laughs> that's a, a mouthful. mouthful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's a hybrid. The ladies from Jamison Flowers gave me uh, one of these beautiful flowers. So it's good to have a reference so that I can actually figure out where I'm gonna paint this guy. During the Floriade, they have a whole bunch of different workshops. And yesterday I was listening to one on bees. Right behind me, they have all the workshops. And whilst I was painting, I was listening to this gentleman uh, talk about the importance of bees, and it was fascinating. And it actually gave me an idea of how to incorporate them into my painting. Now, originally I thought of painting bees, and I've got butterflies in there as well, but the problem that I had was that they'd be too small, and if I paint them big it'll look too sort of cartoonish but I had a, a an idea last night and what I'm gonna do is here and maybe through here I'm gonna paint honeycomb um, I'm gonna paint a honeycomb pattern and then have the bees in it and why I'm gonna do that and what I think that will add to the artwork is the honeycomb is actually I don't know what shape that is but it's very angular and it will guide your eyes around the eye and then you'll also be able to look at it and go that's a bee that makes sense He was the person who came up with the idea of Florida. 
in 1986, they went over to Kukinov to have a look at how you would do a display like this in a garden setting. And they came back, they presented it to the managers of the time and said, we want to do this for 1988 for the bicentenary. So it was only meant to be one. This is the 30th birthday of Floriad, so. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. Um, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't as yet. I will post the progress of this painting and some new projects, exciting things that I've got coming in the next couple of months. Um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys very soon. I've been